Hello, hello. This is Casey, and I am in the Eddies mountain range. It's just a bit northwest of Mount Shasta. And the last video I did was on water hemlock, which is the most poisonous plant in North America. And there is one plant in particular that has a lot of similar characteristics to the water hemlock, and it is the sawtooth angelica. So it's a larger plant, a lot of similar features. So the leaves look pretty similar, the flowers look pretty similar. The sawtooth angelica has sort of like a more of a celery scent. They both grow near water. Uh, Angelica, generally speaking, grows up a lot higher. So I'm not, I'm not above tree line, but I'm, I'm getting close. So the water hemlock was at a much lower altitude. So I want to show you this. Just this, it's a small patch of Angelica, and. I'm not going to be harvesting the angelica. I don't actually harvest a lot of angelica. Um, I'm not really in a place where I enjoy digging. Certain plants I will dig if I'm guided to, but the angelica, I'm just, I don't know, in the last few years I've just been not really wanting to take the whole thing. So I will sometimes use the flowers and the seeds. And all right, let's get to so we have some yarrow. Trying to not catch all my shadows. Yarrow and then really nice stream. I just got some wild onion flowers. And here we have the Angelica. So there's one right there. And I think I'm gonna go up to this. plants up here. So it's interesting. <laughs> this one's just coming out in flower. I always see butterflies, bees, flies. That's one of the reasons that I don't often harvest this plant because it has so much interest from the insects. I just kind of want to leave it be. But it's a gorgeous flower. So Angelica is used as a digestive tonic. It's actually a bitter, so it's a pretty common ingredient in digestive aid herbal formulas. And it's also been used historically in shamanic journeying. And you can see like the similarity in the flowers to the crown chakra. And then it, it's a deep, so it's a, the roots are deep growing. So it's good for grounding for any kind of journeying. And then also helps you as the name implies with the Angelica to reach uh, higher heights of consciousness. So yeah, it's used as a digestive aid. It's used in um, spiritual ceremonies or has been at least in the past. And it is also commonly used to benefit the female reproductive cycle. So I want to show you, here's another one. I want to show you up close if I can find a way. I'll just sit here to get to the leaves. So one of the distinguishing features of water hemlock is that the veins on the leaves go to the cut in the leaf. They don't go all the way to the tip 
of the leaf and with Angelica they do go to the tip of the leaf so you can see let's see here let me find one yeah you can see that the veins of the leaf go to the edge of the the tip of the leaf rather than into the cut on the leaf and that's one of the uh, most important distinguishing features of Angelica compared to water hemlock as well as poison hemlock. So yeah, you wanna check that out when you're looking at Angelica. And really, um, it's one of those plants that I highly recommend you find someone experienced to introduce you to it in person before you begin harvesting. All right, I think that's it, and until next time, hope you're all well. Bye.